Hey guys, and you're watching Freeware Spotlight Episode 5, X Media Recode. X Media Recode, if you've seen my um, DVD Video Soft Free Studio episode, that's the first one, you, you've seen that that has a lot of converting options. But this is basically a more, uh, a more thorough and more complicated and more advanced converter, file converter. And I'm going to go through some of the stuff you can do with it. Okay. So basically, if the DVD video soft doesn't do it for you, you can do it with this one. So first of all, I should set this to English. Wait, English? That's really great about the software. You can really easily set the language. So, um, file, you can press open the DVD or, D or file. DVD has to have no copyright on it, so you have to remove the copyright, or you... I'm not telling you how to do that. Or, um you have to get a DVD that's uncopyrighted and you can save this open settings and save settings that's basically like my virtual dub where you can save the processing settings and uh, I think I'm going to open up uh, so now you can do the CPU priority you have nothing, el nothing else running you can uh, you know, you know I'm just going to open a file so what, what am I going to do you know I'm going to open one of my Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga episodes parts, whatever. Uh, here we go. And I'm gonna see, you can s you can set the profile to um, any of these devices or companies. The profiles are companies like Microsoft, which will be then the, oops, shit. Will be then the the Xbox 360, the Zune. What? I opened open office. I'm sorry. I'm a very frantic clicker. And you can pick the audio track, audio tracks, video codecs, uh, and if you pick one of these these profiles, it's not really you can't really choose the codex. But if you choose um, custom codex, then this custom one, then you can do that. Okay, I'm gonna go to Apple. You can do iPhone, iPhone. Uh, you can here you can pick a lot of different stuff because this is also meant for I iPhone. I hope they come up with an iPad because uh, my brother has an iPad and he really wants me to convert him to some shit. So uh, hopefully they come up with that. Anyway, you can do you can do custom, AVI. Here you can pick the file format, the uh, the codec, and all that all that good stuff. Uh, let's go with AVI. This is the one I know best. You can pick the MPEG-4 codec. The DivX is my personal favorite for for that. MP3 is good. Uh, yeah, MP3 video. Let's see frame rate, keep original. I would if you have a Fraps recording, put it to twenty nine point nine seven, because Fraps because the file, f the frame rate makes it a lot bigger, and uh, 30 FPS is good enough. Bit rate is the main determiner of the quality. Uh, two 2,000 bit rate is very low. Um, a good, f good, good f for YouTube bit rate if you're converting it with X meter recode is like 7,000. Um, HD is probably like uh, more, more close to 10. No, HD is more close to like 20,000. I, I really don't know. But bitrate is the you have to experiment with the bitrate. That's the main determiner of the quality and file size. But if you want to keep file size down, you can do it DivX. Oh, I'm getting into a tutorial here. I should be just uh, showing you guys the the features of this software. So we got um, audio settings here. You can experiment with those. Crop preview. See, this is weird by my by my version. It keeps setting it to a wrong one. I like to, this one is for YouTube. You can set the the resolution. You can set the, uh, the aspect radio settings. You can s yeah keep cust keep original, which is 16 by 9. Scaling mode. I don't know what that is. Talk. Talk. Okay, that's a German word. Jobs. This is the job setting. So if I would like want to convert this now, if I I say all oh, these settings are great, I can add job, and then I can click encode, and basically. I'm gonna show you. Now, I'm gonna show you by adding another video. Basically, you can now um, add another job, or you can open another file, add all this good stuff. Yeah, I have quite a bit of videos not uploaded. And um, okay, it would have to analyze all all of these, and you can click add job, and it will add the job. And then you can click encode, and it will encode it. And this is taking too long. Oh, it's done. Is it? No. Anyway, guys.
thanks for watching this episode of Freeware Spotlight. I urge you to check out more Freeware Spotlight tutorials, mod man videos, and gaming stuff on my channel. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Freeware Spotlight. And um, until then, this is Wendy Nerd signing off.